hey everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm gonna show you how to do my knotless box braid in 36 inches long yes this is my favorite hair of all braiding hair and this is the hair i'm showing you and i've already started and this is quite long i'm just going to use two and a half packs no hair gel at all i'm going to use my castor oil because hair gel i've noticed breaks the hair off so in today's video i'm just going to use only castor oil for this style and as you can see it's looking good already so let's jump right into the video and as usual i'm going to really drench my hair with this castor oil because i'm only using castor oil as i said before just look at this yes yeah, so now i'm going to divide my hair in three parts just like so and cross it over and begin my knotless box braid it's as easy and simple as a b c d e f g a why i love knotless braids because since knotless braids have no extension at the root there's more flexibility in styling with less scalp tension and also you can put your hair up without waiting for the root to loosen up i'm going to add more of the castor oil at the tip of my own hair and kind of hide my real hair in the synthetic hair and just begin to braid down and i make sure i braid all the way to the tip Yes, all work and no play makes me a doll girl. So I was just listening to some romantic music and I was just dancing along with it. Yeah, because I was getting tired and bored. <laughs> I had to do something to keep me going. Yes. At this point, I'm going to reduce the thickness of my pattern because I just want to fill the top part or braid more at the top section i forgot to show you how much hair i'm using so this is the amount of hair i'm using not too much not too little and i always divide this in two three parts and use it for my knotless box braid don't overdo any kind of hairstyle it's just a protective style installation it's not meant to be worn for a lifetime wear it just long enough to give your hair a break that's it and when it's time to take it off you just take it off i'm going to clean my parts and continue the process really soaked with castor oil And this castor oil smells amazing it's bio quality it's very thick and i'm loving it so much yeah so i'm just going to stay away from this hair gel stuff because <laughs> i can see it's not good for me so yeah i'm almost done i got one more left to go so stay tuned and here i need to braid the tip of this hair again that's a lot of work i've got one more left to go this is how i normally hide my real hair in the extension i make sure the extension is fully spread and enveloped around my own real hair and each piece also and so that it can hide in the fake hair for a finished beautiful look as you can see it's looking so sleek and the end result is always amazing hallelujah i'm done now so now i'm going to take care of the tip of this hair i'm just going to braid all the way down yeah so this is what i'm going to do i'll be right back done perfect sleek beautiful amazing 
and one thing i love about this hair it, it's so lightweight like i feel nothing on my hair i'm all done now i'm going to boil me a hot water and dip the ends and call it a day do you know why i am extremely extremely tired I really don't wash my hair in braid so just because you are rocking a protective hairstyle doesn't mean you shouldn't care for it okay you shouldn't forget to care for your scalp and natural hair underneath the extension it's very important you have to ensure your scalp is really clean and hydrated at least twice in a week if you prefer not to shampoo and condition just like me on the same day try a cleansing conditioner that will do both for you and you'll be good to go so now my hair is looking so sleek beautiful very lightweight and i'm just loving it so much i feel nothing on my hair i love this hairstyle so much it's very easy to make and you know i just love my knotless box braid so right now i'm all done i'm all done the ends look good and i'm i'm going to add my how do you even call this my oily so now i'm applying my organic root stimulator olive oil wrap and set mousse to the hair this mousse is lightweight and it's designed to hold any flyaways it's moisturized and gives incredible add shine to the hair the product contains unique blend of ingredients which is vitamin e and etc wow so refreshing oh so cold and refreshing Now that everything is looking good, I'm going to do my house choice. Definitely, we'll be back very soon. I will be applying this oil to the scalp. It smells so amazing. my hair in braids but I always keep my scalp very clean I'm going to keep this hair in for one and a half weeks that's really enough for me maybe two weeks <laughs> let's see I'm going to use this Garnier Fruities Bonda oil so it's like water and oil you need to shake this to mix very well before use one of my favorites and I love it so much and smells really 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 good
well that's all i have for you today thank you so 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 much for watching don't forget to subscribe like and share for more videos and yeah definitely see you in my next video stay safe love you guys bye bye